Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the, I guess, uh, Hook and Dink's holiday special. As you can see, I'm wearing my holiday garb. Uh, you know, it's just the timing of this video. It works out that way, so I hope you all enjoy. So recently I was able to do some Christmas shopping and that led me over the border into America. Uh, and this is where I walked into a Walmart and I found out that Walmart has a beautiful, not beautiful, but a pretty good fishing section. And when I try to compare it to my local Walmart and other Canadian Walmarts, it's an insanely different. I don't know why, but Canadian Walmarts have an awful fishing section. Now I understand, you know, especially in the fishing world, it's all about supporting local. And I totally get that and I totally agree with it. And I do support my local tackle shop. But as much as I hate Walmart, I just can't avoid it. It's so cheap to go in there and buy things and pick up things here or there or even do my groceries nowadays that it'd be nice to have a nice fishing section that I can walk around and, uh, you know, pick up a lure or two. But I just don't find myself ever finding anything there. And when I go on the internet, on YouTube videos, or even just like Reddit posts or Instagram or whatever, people are always talking about their good finds, you know, clearance sales and this, that, and the other thing. And I'm, we're missing out of it in Canada. So I'll show you this, this footage here. This is of the American Walmart. Um, as you can see, it's a full aisle, pretty good. Okay, here we are at the Niagara Falls, New York Walmart location. Uh, as you see, a huge selection, lots of soft plastics, uh, then a whole side of terminal tackle. Uh, here's some Ozark Trail stuff. Yeah, we don't get any of this in Canada. Uh, none of these brands in Canadian Walmart. Some more Ozark Trail. Even the KVD plastics, I never see. So as you can see, you know they have a lot of brands here that I have never actually seen in Canada, and I was able to pick up a couple things. That are just that are, that are unique and kind of neat that I wanted to give a try, um, but I'll show you this. This is our local Walmart, and it is abysmal compared. To this. It's not even a half aisle. It's literally like the end of an aisle size, uh, just in its own little section. It's it's pretty pathetic. So here we have the local Walmart. We have our 13 fishing completes, uh, some children's completes, uh, some Eagle Claw terminal tackle, which is great. Berkeley Power Bait stuff, whatever. Uh, you know, some Booyah spinner baits, a couple of rot, different types of Rapalas, uh, $23 per, so that's always nice. Uh, and there is some Ozark Trail spoons, but that's it. Not a lot here at all. So yeah, you know, you got your super, super basic uh, jigs and hooks and stuff from Northland Tackle. Uh, and I do like Northland Tackle. It's pretty cheap stuff and it, it, it's durable enough for what I do. Um, and you know, you get like some Booyah spinner baits, some Lunker Hunt uh, jerk baits, just like very basic stuff and it's 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 kind of a bummer like I never find anything here and for fairness sake I will show you this other Walmart uh, this is the one also in my area and it's a little bit bigger we get like a half aisle here so uh, that's not bad but same deal it's just not much selection at all so as you can see there's a little bit more selection here uh, just just on the amount that they have more space uh, same thing though Berkeley power bait Berkeley gulp yeah yeah whatever uh, there is the Lunker Hunk Plastics, and uh, they actually carry a lot more Northland Tackle stuff, which is a win in my book. Uh, but other than that, I mean, there's really still nothing to write home about here. So like I say, you know, in Canada we have Northland Tackle, we have some Booyah Spinner Baits, some Berkeley stuff, and some Lunker Hunt stuff, and maybe a couple of different kinds of rods, and not even like rod and reel things, just complete setups. So not much at all unless you're a true beginner. Whereas, you know, if I go to the States, I'll find so much of the Ozark Trail, which is Walmart's brand, as well as a whole bunch of other different kinds of, uh, you know, brands of lures. And I understand, you know, there's probably a lot that doesn't get sold in Canada, it never really comes to Canada, but even the Ozark Trail stuff, I mean, I don't know, is there tariffs and fees on fishing supplies that makes it hard for them to be sold in Canada? Why is Walmart not just stocking their own brand here at the very least? And not that Ozark Trail is a track record of being a very durable quality baits, but it's nice to be able to go and pick up something cheap from time to time. So that was probably a positive for uh, you know the local retailers that Walmart doesn't have a huge presence in the Canadian fishing market, but it would be nice for me and other anglers that are you know balling on a budget here to be able to pick up our basics at a cheaper price. You know, all right now all we really have is Canadian Tire, Cabela's or Bass Pro, and our local shops. And our local shops are great. You know, I do pop into Bass Pro quite often, and even Canadian Tire could be pretty decent. It'd be nice to just have another little uh, another guy in the bunch, right? 
Either way, I picked up some stuff, both at the American Walmart and at uh, my local Walmart. However, I totally lost the receipts for everything. I don't remember what I bought where, except for a couple things. Uh, but I'll show you those now. So to start off, I'll show you these uh, curly tail worms I was able to pick up. Um, not bad, you know, just a motor oil color, very basic. Like I say, what's cool about the Walmart in America is you can find really dirt cheap, super basic lures. Uh, and you know, these are the Lux Strike motor oil ribbon tail worm. Uh, yeah, not much to say here, but I don't have a curly tail worm, especially not in this size. So it'll be interesting to throw come summertime for those largemouth bass. Another really basic, dirt cheap, kind of, you know, old style lure. Literally just a little plastic frog here on a tiny hook. Uh, they give you the hook and frog and everything. And I don't know how this rigs up, but it should be interesting. Uh, you know, it was like 90 cents for this. 90 cents USD, so like maybe like a dollar, what, a dollar 15 in Canadian. Not a bad pickup, I don't think. We'll see how it works. Maybe catch a few bluegill on it. I mean, I don't know. It's just, a, it was a fun purchase. It'll be fun to throw this, I think. I'm also on the hunt for some 1/8 ounce jigs. So I picked up these goggle eye. Uh, rattling jigs from Callens. Callens Bait Company, another lure company I rarely see in Canada. Uh, the only other time I've seen it was actually at a dollar store, and I have a video up of me showing off uh, what I got on that day, uh, and that worked out pretty good. You know, it seems like a pretty high quality lure company, so I picked up these. Why not give them a try? This here is the Strike King Rocket Shad. Uh, this is neat too. You know, kind of like a little finessey spinner bait. Uh, you know, almost. Uh, Beetle, beetle spin kind of bait. Uh, and this one's really weird. It looks like it, it, I thought it had a treble hook on it, but now that I'm looking at it, it's actually just a, a dual hook almost. So uh, that should be interesting to throw. I don't know, just a little pickup. I've been looking for these nice finesse kind of spinner baits for a while now, so I figured I'll try that one. And then when I made it back over the border to Canada, I did find these Northland Tackle uh, metallic jigs here. These are the 1 8 ounce. Same kind of deal. I was looking for 1 8 ounce jigs. I've had good luck with these, especially with the black donkey tail. I don't know why, but there's one river where I seem to catch a mass amount of smallies, and they love it with the metallic jig with a black donkey tail specifically, and I burn through them there because I'm always getting snagged up, so I had to pick up another set just for the next year. This purchase here is a little bit of a different one. I don't know why I bought these, and I'm looking back at it now. This is the Northland Tackle Nature Jig. It's a bismuth tin alloy. So I don't know if that's any better than, well I'm assuming it's got to be better than lead. Uh, this is sold as an environmental friendly alternative. However, I don't know if it's any better than tungsten. It was a lot cheaper than tungsten, I'll tell you that much. So uh, just kind of interesting thing to purchase and show off here for you all. This here is my favorite purchase of them all. This is something I've been looking for for a while and I just haven't really seen in the wild. Uh, this is the Bass Stopper otherwise known as the purple worm, as I know people in Michigan call it. Kind of a Michigan uh, staple in the tackle boxes. A pretty neat looking lure. So it's a little bit kinked up just from the packaging, but what this is is literally just a plastic worm with three hooks embedded into the body. And uh, I've watched videos where guys swear by this. They, they absolutely love this thing. So I wanted to give it a try for a while now. It's got that white stripe down the back. Um, you know, this is the classic color of it. So. Why not give it a try in these Canadian waters and see if I can pick up some bass or even like perch or something with it? Uh, should be fun to throw. So not a huge haul or anything. I was mainly there to do some Christmas shopping as I said, but uh, I just, I don't know, it kind of rubs me the wrong way that we don't get any of this neat stuff in Canada. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. You know, unfortunately, I was really looking for an Academy Sports store or even like a Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, and see what they had in the fishing section. You know, try, places that I can't go in Canada, obviously, but you know, this was all right. I found some cool, neat little things. Uh, and I enjoyed my time over in the American Walmart's fishing section. So please, if you live in, wherever you live, let me know what your Walmart's like, or let me know what, uh, what, what options you have. I know a lot of people, just even a few hours north of where I am in Ontario, you get like one tackle shop and a Canadian tire and that's it in your whole area. So it could be tough out there for us. Uh, but you know, you make do, I guess. Thank you for watching everyone. Uh, and happy holidays. Thank you for watching me throughout this year. It's been a good year. I will be seeing you all early on in the new year. I have a couple of videos planned. I'm excited to share and uh, take care. Enjoy the holidays, you know, pour up a rummy eggnog or two or whatever it is you're drinking. And, uh, yeah, enjoy.